it is slowly heated over a period of eight hours. For ceramic houses, the temperature climbs to 968 degrees Celsius, 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit, where that temperature is held for approximately one half hour. The kiln is then turned off and allowed to slowly cool for another five hours. This prevents cracking and warping of the ceramic village pieces. If a tunnel kiln is used, each fragile clay body is placed on a row of cars which move along a continuous circular track. At the rate of one every nine minutes, the cars enter the kiln, each carrying as many as 30 pieces. The center portion of the kiln is heated to a constant 1300 degrees Celsius, 2400 degrees Fahrenheit. After traveling the full length of the 120-foot kiln, gradually heating up and cooling down, the clay houses emerge at the opposite end of the tunnel, transformed by a chemical process known as reduction into hard, pure white porcelain. When the pieces have cooled, they are carefully inspected for defects before the next step. Hand painting is by far the most time-consuming step of production. It is executed by highly skilled artisans whose talents include patience and extreme concentration. The various colors are applied by hand directly to the fired clay buildings with brushes and special paints. Finer details such as windows, shutters and doors are then painted using smaller brushes taking care not to overlap colors. On some village buildings, an antiquing paint is applied to tone or mute brighter colors, resulting in the piece having a weathered look. The skilled concentration and artistic talents of each village painter is apparent in every piece, from the foundation to the subtly colored roof. Each piece is an original. Many designs have hand-painted lettering and others have intricate decals which are meticulously hand-applied. On porcelain buildings, specially sculpted areas remain unpainted and become the mounds of drifted white snow. However, on ceramic buildings, a smooth white material is brushed on by hand over the paint on roofs and doorways creating the effect of drifts of fallen snow. The completed houses are then baked in a low fire electric oven at 51 degrees Celsius, 150 degrees Fahrenheit, permanently bonding the paint and snow to the ceramic surface. Original Snow Village designs whose color schemes include a lot of white are glazed before they are hand painted. This treatment allows the natural ceramic color to show through in areas which are not covered by paint. The fired ceramic piece is dipped into a clear liquid glaze and then fired a second time, requiring an additional eight hours with final temperatures reaching up to 560 degrees Celsius, 1080 degrees Fahrenheit. After it is cooled, the paint and snow are hand applied on top of the shiny finish and then permanently set by being baked in the low fire electric oven, the same as other pieces. Once a piece is fully constructed, painted and fired, it is again carefully inspected and the base is smoothed and cleaned to remove any rough areas. The piece is now ready for packaging. Each village piece is packed securely in its own individual styrofoam storage carton. Every carton has a special compartment containing the UL approved switched cord and bulb and is designed with an individual illustrated sleeve. 
This sturdy, attractive packaging has been developed over the last several years to replace the boxes that were still being used as recently as 1985. The new packaging protects the pieces during shipping and provides a convenient method of repacking so that your collection can be safely stored for many years to come. The same care and attention to detail that is taken with lighted village pieces is also taken in the design and manufacture of each accessory. The first introduction of ceramic accessory pieces occurred in 1979 when the original set of three carolers started singing beneath their holly-covered lamppost in the original snow village. Since then, accessories have become as important to the growth of the villages as the houses, shops, and churches which initially inspired this charming holiday tradition. Accessories have also become more detailed using new techniques and combinations of materials. For example, the Dickens Village accessory Holiday Coach, with a total of 19 separate pieces, was manufactured in several distinct stages, beginning with the detailed metal wheels and undercarriage. The passengers and drivers on top are actually eight separate porcelain pieces. The driver is holding the reins of four spirited chestnut horses, which are attached to the carriage with silver chains. The crests on the doors are intricate decals. The Department 56 creative staff develops the ideas for all of our village accessories. Many of the steps in the creation of an accessory piece are similar to those followed in creating a lighted village building. Once an idea has been chosen, an artist creates drawings showing how the accessory piece will look from all sides. The drawings are used by the sculptor to create a clay model. The model is used to create a mother mold, which in turn is used to create a master mold. Then the master mold is used to create a number of production molds. Liquid slip is poured into the production mold. When it's ready, the mold is unbanded and the accessory piece carefully removed. Attachment pieces are also cast and attached with slip. After being inspected and cleaned, the accessories are stacked and fired in the kiln. As the accessory pieces are hand painted, each figure is given the same attention to detail as the larger lip pieces receive. Each tiny face is painted with brushes that can be as thin as a single hair. The degree of detail possible in this small scale is exceptional, and bringing life to these characters is quite a talent. The final touch for many accessories is the addition of other materials. These can include the corded reins of a fancy coach, cast metal pieces such as wheels, park benches, or tiny pots and pans, or the addition of a small sisal tree or wreath. Like larger lighted pieces, each village accessory is also packaged in an individual styrofoam storage carton, complete with a protective sleeve showing the name and a picture of the piece inside. Whether you choose the original Snow Village or any of the villages in the Heritage Village Collection, 
Be sure and look for the Department 56 logo. It is not only your guarantee of authenticity, but your assurance that each piece has been designed and crafted with the quality and attention to detail that collectors nationwide have come to expect from everyone at Department 56. Yesterday's memories, tomorrow's traditions.